Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, the testimony of our witnesses. Um, I do get a little concerned when I hear discussion about uh, the mega wealthy and, and those that of whom they're taking advantage. Um, you know, uh, I understand these Democrats that are mega wealthy, that don't seem to care about their workers, that don't pay them a proper wage. I, I can understand the frustration of some of my Democrat colleagues that are upset at their Democrat billionaires and mega wealthy. But uh, the truth is, uh, this nation has provided more upward mobility than any nation in history. Um, I think we're richly blessed despite uh, the mega wealthy Democrats that don't pay what they should to their workers. But I also know uh, when we try to come up with government schemes, having uh, been an exchange student to the Soviet Union, uh, I've seen what that does to a country. I've seen what that does to production of agriculture and other goods. Uh, if you're going to pay people the same thing to work or not work, you're going to eventually have people not working. And I do uh, recall what uh, Franklin Roosevelt's uh, Treasury Secretary said after eight years of he said, we're spending more money than we ever have spent before. It does not work. I want to see this country prosperous. I want to see people get jobs. We've never made good on our promises. I say after eight years of this administration, we've just as much unemployment as we as when we started an enormous debt to boot. So anyway, I, I think it's important that we be good stewards of the wonderful blessings we have. And... Um, it's not always a government program that gets it done. That statement by Morgenthau, of course, was made after eight years of the kind of programs that we're talking about here. A lot of people were excited about it, but a proper assessment eight years later was that didn't get us going. So um, I am concerned about being good stewards. And Mr. Watkins, you've already talked a great deal about uh, what it takes to uh, take care of our forests, be good stewards of our forests. Say you had 100,000 acres of trees, not sequoias, but say pine trees like we have in East Texas or others that are a renewable resource, what would be the best thing that you would want to see done with your 100,000 acre forest to make sure that you were a good steward? Would you create fire lanes so you could stop the fires if they ever got started by lightning or any other way? I, th I think that would certainly be part of it. I actually grew up uh, deer hunting in rural Alabama um, with some uh -huh. family friends. You know, uh, there's a, obviously a huge, huge ethos in the Southeast, especially um, in Texas as well of, you know, actively and proudly managing and stewarding uh, what in that part of the country is a lot of private timber, obviously. Um, and, you know, that's a whole holistic um, approach to that. Sustainable management, sustainable harvest, um, a lot of those things of which prescribed controlled burns is also a huge part. Which I it's a, a lot of different humidity and, and climate and different things in the East and the West. Um, but I think you're seeing with a lot of Western states, um, a lot of pushes to essentially a realization that that sort of product management is needed too. Yeah. Well, having been spent time in the woods as you have, I'm sure that you also understand when people say, oh, the best thing we can do is nothing. Let everything be natural. I'm sure you've seen uh, just how cruel nature can be to animals some animals can be to other animals. Uh, it can be really vicious. And when it comes to air pollution, uh, we've never come close to polluting like a volcano or massive wildfire where there was no undergrowth ever cut, no fire lanes to stop it, just tens of thousands of acres catching fire and because of the lack of stewardship and preparation, there was no way to stop it. You would agree nature can be very, very cruel 
if left unbridled at times, right? Sure, and I think it's also just worth pointing out a decision to not manage land and leave it alone is essentially a management decision of its own, which I think is also important to always keep in mind. Yes, well, thank you so much. My time's expired. Are you back?